In the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, you play as another horrible criminal who will be facing the Executioner's Block at Helgen. Although your crimes are unknown, the Imperials are sure you're super guilty of them. Right before you become a head shorter, you are saved by the dragon in the machine. Get it? It's a deus ex machina joke. Deus ex machina. God in the machine. Helgen is destroyed by this dragon, and you escape with your new friend, the Imperial Stormcloak. You and your new friend go to his sister uncle's house and tell them all about the dragon attack. They don't believe you at first, but after telling them that you're not lying, because that is all it takes to gain someone's trust, uh, they tell you to head to Whiterun and tell the Yarl. When you get to the front gates of Whiterun, two guards tell you they aren't allowed to let anyone in, but you tell them that you have to see the Yarl, who is basically the Lord, and they're like, oh, well, we have to let you in, I guess. After a warm welcome from the Yarl's guard, you finally meet him. His name is Balgruff, and yes, the second you is very important, and you tell him that you saw the dragon attack at Helk. He asks how you know, and you say, I was there, and I was about to get my head cut off. He doesn't seem to be too concerned that you're an escaped death row inmate and asks you to go find a dragonstone for his alchemist. After running through a giant crypt and fighting a bunch of draugers, and they're basically zombies, and a giant spider, a few bandits, and a super draugr who will later be considered what the scientific community calls a bitch, you obtain the dragonstone and read some words on a wall. Once you return to the Jarl, you are both interrupted by a Whiterun guard who informs you that a dragon has attacked the guard tower near the city. You are asked to help fight the dragon, and once it is slain, a mysterious energy absorbs into your body, like oil and sand or any liquid in sand. After this, a soldier tells you that you might be something called the Dragonborn and asks you to scream at him really loud. On your return to Whiterun, the clouds start yelling Donnie King at everyone, but one of Balgriff's council members tells you that it was some old monks known as the Greybeards. He also tells you that they didn't say Donnie King, but Dova King, but you're pretty sure that's not right. The Jarl suggests to you that it might be a good idea to visit these Greybeards, as they may be able to train you to become a much better screamer. So you travel to Iverstead, which is the town at the base of the mountain High Hrothgar. Why do they call it that? Well, it's very High Hrothgar. You then begin to climb the 7,000 steps that lead up to the Greybeard Sanctuary near the top of the mountain. On your climb up the mountain, you'll fight some ice wraiths, a troll, and most dangerously of all, goats. Once you make it to the sanctuary, you are greeted by four old men, Argnir, Nori, Inarth, and Wolfgar. Only Argnir speaks to you, because apparently the other Greybeard's voices are so loud that if they so much as whisper, it will kill you. Which leads you to ask why they don't just solve every problem, but that wouldn't be a good game, I guess. Argnir tells you that you are indeed the Dovahkiin, and is most certainly not pronounced Donnie King. You're still not 100% sure that that's the case, though. They also tell you that the art of screaming at something is called a thuum, and that only certain people can learn it, and you, being the Dragonborn, allows you to scream better than anyone else. After teaching you a new curse word, they ask you to get the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller because they no longer like where they put it. When you get to where the horn is supposed to be, you find a note saying that someone already stole it and that you should meet them at the Sleeping Giant Inn. When you arrive at the inn, you become tired and asked to sleep in the attic. There clearly was some confusion because they take you to a room off to the side, not in the attic. You are soon awoken by Delphine, the woman who stole the horn. She returns it to you and also asks you to go dragon hunting with her. When the two of you arrive at the grave of a dragon, you find the dragon that attacked Helgen is resurrecting a dragon from it. They speak to each other and to you, and you learn that the black dragon's name is Alduin, and the other's name is not important. After killing the less important dragon, Alduin then flees like a bitch. Delphine then tells you of a plan she has to crash a party held by the uppity high elves known as the Thalmer. You assume the reason you're doing this is because she didn't get invited and now wants revenge. After you leave the party, Delphine sends you to Riften to find a man named Esbern, but to do that you must first find a man named Bjornolf who makes you steal a ring before telling you how to find Esbern. You have to walk around the sewers and kill some Thalmor, but once you do, you get to meet a senile old man who claims to not be Esbern. After convincing him that he is in fact Esbern, the two of you meet Delphine at a place known as Skyhaven Temple, which was the base of an ancient order known as the Blades, who fought dragons and definitely didn't protect the Emperor. Inside the temple, you find Alduin's wall, and although it was not owned by Alduin, it does have him on it. It also has the Dragonborn on it and the Blades, so why couldn't it just be called the Wall with a bunch of shit on it? It doesn't matter. The wall apparently says that Alduin can be defeated with a special shout, so you figure you should ask the Greybeards since they're the ones who taught you that screaming is a big deal. When you return to the Greybeards, they tell you that it's time to meet their leader, so you have to climb up to the Throat of the World, which is an unnecessarily metal name for a mountain peak. Once you get to the top of the mountain, you are greeted by the leader of the Greybeards, who is an ancient dragon. He tells you his name is Parthenox, and you realize he must have some kind of learning disability because he keeps speaking in two different languages. Although this is fun, it also makes listening to him a bit difficult. You ask him about the special shout to defeat Alduin, but he doesn't know it. However, he does tell you that you may be able to learn it by reading an Elder Scroll. 
You then go through all sorts of crazy nonsense to get to and then through a Dwemer fortress. By the way, Dwemer is what Bethesda calls dwarves. I know, it's kind of offensive, right? You also have to go through a city of crazy inbred mutant elves to get to another Dwemer fortress so that you can finally get the Elder Scroll which you can't read. After contemplating, stopping, giving up, and walking away from the video game crack rock known as Skyrim, you return to Parthenox. He tells you to read the Elder Scroll in a special place on the throat of the world, and that if you do, you can then see the past. But you may also go blind. When you finally look at the scroll, you see a vision of the ancient Nord heroes defeating Alduin with a shout known as Dragonwind, which just makes dragons have to sit down for a couple minutes. So it should really just be called Dragon Wind. After you come down from your trip, you are attacked by Alduin. After you defeat him, he bitches off to the afterlife. And this does not mean he dies. He literally runs away and goes explore the afterlife. You and the Greybeards then call everyone in the entire country, well, really just like seven people, to negotiate a truce between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials, who, by the way, have been you know, at Civil War, even though it's really not that inconvenient if you're just playing the main story. Uh, but you call them to talk about a truce and how also you're going to defeat Alduin. Uh, someone suggests trapping a dragon at Whiterun because they have a dragon trap there for some reason and then you can interrogate it. Once you trap your very own dragon, you can convince him to fly you to a portal to Sovngarde, basically heaven, where you will be able to stop Alduin. Once you get to the only building in heaven, you meet the Nord heroes who defeated Alduin the first time. The four of you team up and defeat Alduin. Congratulations, you beat the main quest in Skyrim. Now get checked into rehab.